Shut up and sit down. Good day, real estate investor community. This is Scott Lurie with The Hard Truths. Following up on a podcast we did not too long ago in studio that really resonated well with me and probably a lot of you, uh, we had Jerry Norton in our, in our studio discussing how to make a million dollars a year in real estate. And part of that discussion was really how do you get wholesalers who are wholesaling? How does a wholesaler make a million dollars a year? And the, the phenomenon of wholesaling has, is, not, is nothing new, right? This has been going on since the beginning of time, but it's really gained a whole new world um, related to technology, VAs, marketing, energy. When I first got involved in real estate, we started wholesaling by putting bandit signs out all everywhere. We, were, we, were, we would lay hundreds of them. We would do direct mail. I would mail 10,000 letters a day. And that has changed, man. That, that certainly the world has changed. But what hasn't changed is the underlying thesis of how do you make a million dollars a year in real estate. And so speaking with Jerry, we, we, we all resonated on how do you get to become a million dollar a year guy? How do you do that? How does real estate become that? And then we followed up and we spoke to Carlos Reyes and we spoke to a lot of people over the weekend when, when we did our Hustle Harder event. And this is not about Hustle Harder event, but this is about how do you make a million dollars a year? And what the underlying tone was, what, what was fully discussed and fully validated is that you can wholesale to make money but to make the home runs, to make the million dollars, you have to be prepared and ready to do your own fix and flips. And so today we're going to cover basically the topic on how do you become a wholesaler, right? Or how do you validate your wholesale business to become a professional wholesaler? And then from there, how do you make become a million dollar a year wholesaler? And, and, and this isn't about a million dollars in total sales. I sold a house for $144,000. No, what is your fee? How much do you make? What is the dollars that come to you? As we like to call them MTM, money for, MFM, money for me, money for me. And so th- let's talk a little bit about it. Wh- why is wholesale so important, right? Wh- why does everybody want to be a wholesaler? Well, there, there's a couple couple really big big reasons, right? The low barrier to entry, right? You can, anyone can be a wholesaler tomorrow. Tomorrow I'm a wholesaler. So the barrier to entry in the wholesaling market is very low. Um, there's no cost. There's little cost. There's minimal cost. If you are driving, if you are posting, if you are knocking for dollars, if you're driving for dollars, if you're doing whatever to be a wholesaler, to gain a contract is not that, um, there's not tremendous costs associated with it. And then, you know, if you fail, which is true, right? When you fail, because failure happens every day to us in the business that we're in, right? Every day can't be a great day. And every day you can't bring a contract back. And every day you're not being successful. But if you fail, the cost of that failure is not material in nature, right? It's not a huge dollar amount. And so, um, you know, for those notions, that's why everyone can get in. Everyone also gets rewarded by when they're successful. You get rewarded for your hustle. Hey, I hustled today and I got three contracts. You're like, hey, congratulations. I now have three more contracts and, and, and life's good. So, so we look at the wholesaling aspect of low barrier to entry allows anybody and anybody to get in regardless of your age, your education, your financial backing. Anybody can get in to be a wholesaler, which is great but not anybody can become a million dollar wholesaler. Meaning how do you make a million dollars in real estate? And everyone asks this question to me every day, right? We get this question. I don't even know if it's one, 10, 50 or hundred times. People are in this business. Let's be very clear to make money. And so how do you make a lot of money? That's the question, right? How do you make a lot of money? And so when we spoke with Jerry and when we talked with Carlos and we look, when we spoke with Carlos and he showed us his check for $783,000, Carlos did not make that on a wholesale fee. Carlos made that as a wholesaler who was smart enough to rehab that property for the long profit, which is what we're going to discuss as a primary focus of today's thing, uh, podcast. So th- let's talk about uh, one thing that, you know, we do see in wholesaling. Wholesaling is a, is a business, right? And we see some really, really, really bad wholesalers, right? We see some really, really, really lazy wholesalers. We encourage everybody to professionalize the industry of wholesaling. And so how do you do that? Well, you can increase your marketing spend. 
you can certainly bring in VAs and other people on your team to help make you more professional um, and to have a core business other than you being a uh, jack of all trades running around trying to buy contracts and then wholesale contracts or disposition contracts. And then you can obviously standardize and be ethical. You know, ethics is one of those things that is very, um, you know, there's some really bad people in this industry that ruin it for everybody. There's some unethical people chasing dollars that are not being honest and forthright. And so those people are really tarnishing what we're doing. But um, our position and our goal for you is to continue to be an ethical real estate wholesaler. Follow your code of ethics. It might not always be fun, but it's always the right thing to do, and it'll always pay. But let's, let's talk about how do you become, or how do you do, or how do you earn a million dollars in wholesaling? And we go back to kind of the method of, if you are going to bring in the $783,000 check, or if you're going to bring in the huge home run, as a wholesaler, you have to know your market. And so think about it like this. When you're wholesaling, the opportunity for you as the wholesaler to make the long profit is for you to take the next step in the process of risk of the fix and flip and get to the long profit. Because what are you actually doing as a wholesaler? You're teeing up the person that you're selling it to to make the long profit. So does that make sense to everybody? Think about it. As a wholesaler, when you go out and you're hustling, you have a marketing engine, you have a VA, you've got dispo, you've got the whole team working, you're finding contracts, selling them to someone like me or another investor who's going to swing for the fences to make the long profit. So let's just take a scenario where you are the wholesaler. And in the market that we're in, um, we met with um, Tony who was talking about how he buys and um, their, their, their method is they are all about margin, right? So if you think about it as a wholesaler, as you go and make an offer and your margin is significant, those are the ones that will get you to make a million dollars a year. Once you find and identify a wholesale asset that is primed for a grand slam, that is prepared for swinging for the fences, that has the looks, smells, and feels of everything you want, that's when you as a wholesaler have to pivot and become a real estate fix and flip investor. That doesn't mean that you need to do that on every single deal. But as a wholesaler, when you find the cherry, you've got to know it's there and you have to eat it. And that's what, as a private lender, which we are, hard money lender, but also as a real estate investor, we want to see you as the wholesaler have that opportunity to swing for the fences, not make your fee of 5, 10, 15, 30, 50, 100, but the one, two, four, six, seven, eight hundred thousand dollars check. You can't make that just by wholesaling. You have to be a fix and flipper. And so what we want to help you understand is, and if you get a chance to listen to our previous podcast, how can you make a million dollars a year? The answer is you have to be a multifaceted real estate investor. It is that simple. If you're going to fix and flip, excuse me, if you're going to wholesale, you have to be prepared to fix and flip when you find the grand slam. Because that grand slam, as much as it might taste, feel, and smell great to make a 30, 40, 50, $100,000 wholesale fee, which is a nice fee. You are leaving on the table one, two, three, four, five hundred thousand dollars of profit that you're passing along to somebody who's going to make the long profit. And we see this all the time as a as a lender, as a lender in the industry where we're closing 40, 50 loans a month, we see opportunity. And most of them are coming from wholesalers. Most of them are coming from bird doggers. Most of them are coming from their own wholesaling operations. And we ask them, well, why are you, you're buying this, you're paying this guy a $15,000 fee. And then I watch him make a hundred grand at the end. And I'm saying, oh, if that wholesaler could have made, not done that, that wholesaler and that wholesaler did the job, the wholesaler would have made 115 or $130,000. So 
I'm challenging you, the real estate wholesaler, right? We see wholesalers everywhere. I wholesale contracts. I wholesale contracts. And that's great. That's a great business. We, we love wholesalers. We believe wholesaling business, so long as it's professional in nature and following the code of ethics that need to be followed, is a phenomenal business. You are finding an opportunity for someone in need of a fast transaction, and you are putting the parties together. Great job. Congratulations. But we want to caution, we want to advise, we want to share with you that the opportunity to swing for the fences once you've identified, we have an ARV of 575 and we're paying 125 grand for it. Why are you not reaching that ARV? Why are you just picking up a fee? And the answer is twofold. One is the reason we're doing it is we don't have access to capital. And the second reason is because we need the money. And so what I want to tell you as a real estate investor starting in 2003 with no money and having no opportunity and now having all the opportunity created by my own engine and my business plan to you, the wholesaler who's wondering how do I get to be the $783,000 check or the $500,000 check of net profit, you need to be, arrange yourself with a private lender, a hard money lender. And as a national hard money lender, we love empowering wholesalers to swing for the fences and be able to earn the $1 million a year, net $1 million a year income to them. And you can do that, by the way, as a wholesaler. There are wholesalers out there that are making a million dollars plus a year wholesaling. And, and those guys are amazing. But they're the one percenters, right? What we're seeing out there is a lot of wholesalers that are making a very nice income. And then they're passing on the very big swing for the fences that can get them to the million dollars because they're not prepared. They don't have the lender. They don't have the opportunity. And my response is, you do have the opportunity. You just have to know how to find it. And so, so I challenge each of you as a wholesaler, are you making a million dollars a year? Challenge yourself that. If you are, I applaud you. I, 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 I salute you. I say to you, keep going. For the wholesalers that are out there or the real estate investors that are out there that are looking for the opportunity to make that million dollars a year. I challenge you to when you find the grand slam, when you find the opportunity where I can swing for the fences, I challenge you to either find a company like ours or any other private hard money lenders that are out there and take that opportunity and swing for the fences. Because swinging for the fences is going to be your differentiator between where you can make money today on a fee base or where you can make the long profit on, on the moving forward basis. And so... Today's thesis is simply a follow-up to Jerry Norton's idea of how to make $1 million a year. And to do so, the way to do so is you've got to be a wholesaler and you also got to be a fix and flipper. And so, um, so what I want to share with you is if you need any help with your financing, if you, whether you need to learn more about how we fund deals or you want any discussions, you can certainly visit our website at thehardmoneyco.com or... We can, or you can reach out to me at uh, Instagram at Real Estate Scott Lurie, or um, visit any of our websites. But we, you know, we want to help you um, find your 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 path to get to the one million dollars. We want to empower you to get to the one million dollars, and we're here to support you. We want to challenge you as the wholesaler to be a wholesaler and be a dynamic real estate investor and to continue to move forward in your career. And we wish you the best. So thank you. Um, this is Scott Lurie with The Hard Truths.